Hi, this is Anne with um, a fairly quick anagram, I think, on um, getting you started on the week four function katas. So in your slide deck, you're going to have a link to a particular replet that's what I refer to as my index replet. Um, I'm logged in as my cat. Um, so um, when I fork, you're going to see his name pop up. You don't need to fork the index, however, just run it. And when you run it, um, there are always some instructions. And then what you want to do is one at a time, you're going to click on this link, okay, which will get you to each of the kata exercises in turn. And those you do want to fork, okay. So then it shows up under Winston's name. And at that point, it's your job to rename that with um, the date. Just call it nine, just to make it look good. Um, it's close enough. Um, and so you rename that to have the date and the hour. Um, and that becomes your copy. Um, so couple of things about these. Um, over time, I have gotten a lot of feedback from students that, it's, that the instructions were somewhat confusing for these, the ENCODE constructions. So I've moved all of the to-dos up to the top and numbered them. That's a little bit unnatural from a professional standpoint. Generally, what will happen is in code, you're going to see to-do statements throughout the code. And later in the semester, you're going to have to deal with that. But for this exercise, where we're focusing on functions, I've consolidated those to-dos at the top. And that's, um, that's okay. It has the rather unfortunate result um, for those of you who are working on a small screen. In the later katas, the instructions are going to take about half your screen. So what you want to do is read those, um, make sure there are some differences in one, two, and three as you go through. But in the later ones, you're going to want to be focusing on the four, five, and six instructions anyway. So um, just be sure you understand them. Make sure that if there's something different in one, two, and three, you know what it is. Um, and I want to show you the one real user trap here. So. What you're supposed to do and what the instructions say to do, um, let me just go ahead and move that so that's all on one line. What the instructions say to do is press the green run button um, and that loads the JavaScript into the environment. And then in order to actually execute the code, which is wrapped in a run function, you have to come over here and type run like that, okay? And you get output. Um, I won't go over this one in any detail, um, but basically your only job here on, on Kata 1 is to fill out the expected output line after you have read the code, um, understood what it has done. You can even, if you can't do the math in your head, which is fine, you can even run the code and fill out the expected output from, from the actual output on this one. Um, but to show you the user trap, let me go back over and click on function kata 2. And um, I do this to myself every once in a while. Um, and that is, I come over here and I just type run because I'm thinking, okay, I have to type the run command before I can see the code execute. And you get this sort of rather terrible um, error message that run is not defined. Now, if you look down through the code, run is clearly defined as a function here. But what hasn't happened is I didn't hit the run button first. So you have to hit the run button before you can run the code. And you have to hit the run button after each time you change the code so that the current version of these this JavaScript is loaded into the environment. And at that point, you can successfully type run over here and actually execute the code. Um, I really think that's about it. Be sh you know, remember that you can adjust your environment here. You can even close this since we have only one file and get yourself more working space to see the code and be able to um, at least 
get these lines of documentation all in one line. So that's just about all. Be sure to read these instructions carefully. And um, a big part of what you're doing here is learning to read and modify documentation. But then you also get farther and farther into changing code as you go along through the exercises. Good luck.